Well, there were parts that were easy, and then there were hard parts. So you had to, when you got to the date, you better get on it and look at it and figure it out. What the hell is this? I said, oh, it's like you got to get your, your slide rule out and measure the... You know, it's very mathematical. You know, uh, there's only, you know, so many notes in the bar. Oh, only so much oil in the ground. But yeah, you had to read your ass off. The first time I worked with Sinatra, George Young, he's an elite alto player. Uh, he was uh, very popular on the studio scene in New York. And they called him from Atlantic City to put a, a horn section together. Trumpets, you know, bones, saxes. And he asked me if I wanted to do a week in Atlantic City at the Golden Nugget. It would be with not only Sinatra, but a double bill with Dean Martin and Sinatra. So I said, sure, I'd love to do it. You know, bass clarinet and uh, baritone. When I was 13 years old, I put a nickel in just to hear Got You Under My Skin, and the chart starts out. You know, and there I was playing that music. <clears throat> um, well, it was like, Really great. Second time around, we went down there six months later, <coughs> just Sinatra. And the hotel hired a comedian to open for Frank, right? Frank didn't like him. Frank made a call to Vegas and got one of the, the old, you know, the old school crew. And the guy was there the next night. It was... I forgot the guy's name, but we, the band was laughing their asses off. The curtains were closed, and I, I'm going through my music, you know, this New York, New York. Got you on the mask, you know, setting up my music. Out of the corner of my eye, there's this guy fixing his cufflinks. Now look, it's Frank. <laughs> he was standing right next to me, you know getting ready to go on and uh, so I continued you know, putting my music in order and he loved it because <clears throat> the saying was that if the band laughs the guy's got to be good if the band was laughing he's good 